is up guys it is your girl mindy the karmic dia from tiktok and today we're gonna find how to find yourself in the middle of a pandemic because right now we are feeling the chaos there is so much change a lot of people especially us fixed signs do not like change and so we are trying to figure out how to find the newer version of us the healthy version of us the version of us that aligns with our true self so if that's something you're interested in please like comment share and subscribe and let's get into it the biggest problem that we encounter when we try to discover ourselves is the fact that we do a lot of escapism. And if you're someone who's into pick a card, you may hear like, oh, you may have an addiction. And then you're like, what are you talking about? I don't have an addiction. Well, anything can be an addiction if you use it to escape your life. For instance, if you watch a shit ton of TV or if you binge food, these things that we do, they're actually subconscious coping mechanisms so that we don't have to deal with our pain. How many times has silence made you uncomfortable, right? We avoid silence because then we avoid our thoughts and then we avoid what's actually going on inside of us. So we need to stop doing this. We need to stop binging our favorite shows Shows to avoid what's hurting us and we need to start going within when you're feeling off do what I'd like to call a body check basically make sure that it's silent you know you're not watching TV you're not you know humored by your phone anything like that and check in with your body listen to your body because I'm sure it's something that's kind of foreign to you and it's gonna take time for you to get used to it but you're gonna start to notice things that you didn't notice before you'll be like oh I have this ache in my back and a lot of times that has something to do with the fact well it could be because you're sitting a lot during a pandemic but also this feeling of like heaviness on your back is like an indication that you're overwhelmed and it feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and that's why it can hurt up here. But if you're not tuned into your body, then you're not listening to what it is that you need. You can silence yourself for at least like five minutes and just be you'll actually watch yourself start talking to yourself or if you believe in guides because you're probably you probably do you're on my channel <laughs> but you'll start to end up talking to yourself and you'll actually start to work out your own problems and this is something that I noticed when I learned to silent meditate is I would be really overwhelmed with things but I would try to like find a way to work through it like exercising instead of actually feeling my feelings I'm a Gemini moon I like to think I don't know how to feel when it comes to my own emotion so it's very hard for me so when I would sit in silence I could actually figure out what's going on because then I would start arguing with myself like let me think of an example times when I know something's off because I can feel it I'll sit in silence and then I'll end up saying I don't know what I'm running from like I will literally just out of nowhere be like I don't know what I'm running from and that's an indication to me that spirits trying to reach me saying hey the moment I said that I just heard hey we're trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty that's usually a sign from spirit to me that's like hey we're trying to talk to you because remember when that was like a huge thing like they always called your freaking phone but spirit is always trying to reach you to help you and if you don't listen to your body then you're not going to be able to figure out who you are are because you're going to be a consumer you're consuming all of this the TV the noise the everything whatever it takes scrolling on your phone endlessly for hours and then you have no idea where the day goes and then you repeat and repeat and then you're like what is this life that I'm living it's not a life right it's because you're running from something it could be little it could be big it could be a lot of things compounded over time but it's up to you to decide do you want to be someone who consumes so that you can avoid problems that are easily fixed with time, patience, and love for yourself? Or do you want to actually do the work, sit in that awkward silence, realize what it is that is hurting you, and go within so that you can figure out where it's coming from and how you can heal it? you're doing this you are going to feel uncomfortable because you are not used to it so do not beat yourself up I'm hearing from spirit you're inherently worthy so as you're going through that okay because this is what I used to do in the beginning I used to beat myself up for not being perfect so if you have if you're a perfectionist then listen up <laughs> your growth isn't linear again they're showing me like like a roller coaster almost and it's like sometimes you're gonna have good days and sometimes you're gonna go back down because there's more healing work to do you could have a specific trauma that you could heal 
and then reheal and then reheal because you're rehealing from a higher perspective and that's how it works you get to the core of the things that keep you trapped that have been on those crappy ass dating sites respectfully <laughs> some people get luck but honestly it's just it's people's inner child versus inner child it's not healthy but have you ever noticed when someone's like oh what what are your hobbies what do you like to do you kind of have that moment of pause where you're like what what do i like to do it's because we have strayed so far away from ourselves we going back to consuming i'm sorry but we eat a lot of food we watch a lot of tv we repeat we don't really know who we are anymore because we are trying to self-soothe during the middle of this global panorama so that i don't get in trouble <laughs> So we need to relearn how to come back to self and figure out what it is that we used to like, what we used to enjoy. Who were you as a child? What lit you up inside? You have to channel who you were as a little kid, like your first seven years. And that's not to go back to child healing and anything like that. If you had a rough childhood, I understand, empathize, sorry, I get it. But what we need to do is think like a child. What do children like to do? They're not sitting there worried about the bills, right? They're sitting there worried about what interests me. What do I like? Do I like Legos? Do I like hide and seek? You know, they don't care about the big things. And that's what we need to come home to because the big things will always be there, right? But in the meantime, do we want to waste away our lives just watching TV that we're not even interested in? I mean, no offense, but like Netflix isn't even popping anymore. Like it's all old crap and we're running out of stuff to watch anyway. We've been locked up for two years. So it's time to find yourself. What is it that you enjoy? I picked up a few old hobbies that I used to love when I was a kid and when I was a teen because I realized that I was doing the same thing. I really love to watch TV and I really love to eat. I'm a Taurus rising. I like being home, you know, but we need to figure out who we are so that we can start enjoying our lives like children do because we were always meant to do it like that. Another one that a lot of people aren't going to like, and I'm sorry, but we're I'm gonna be honest here you got to be mindful about what it is that you're watching and what you're listening to in terms of music and movies because let's say that you're watching a lot of suspenseful horror movies and you're listening to a lot of music that's like about drugs suicide gang fights all that stuff what you're taking in is going to give you that energy so if you absorb all of this negative stuff you're going to be in a negative headspace when i started my spiritual awakening i felt the need to stop watching horror movies and that's something that i grew up on and loved and i'm not saying you have to quit it forever i'm saying treat it like ice cream you know like don't binge it like it's your normal everyday thing because you don't realize what you're doing to yourself is you're programming your body and your brain to subconsciously actually fear stuff because you're in a lower vibration when you're constantly consuming lower vibrational things we are all aligned and that is including tv and music so think about what it is that you're watching and listening to and then reflect on how you're feeling because if you're to try to switch your music and your tv to like happy comedies and listen to music that's about self-worth and loving yourself you will also see the difference even though i said in the beginning you should detox which you definitely should don't consume as much but be mindful of what it is that you're consuming because obviously you're not going to become a hermit turn off all of your technology and that's not for everybody it's not going to happen but if you're mindful about what you're watching and what you're listening to then you can change how you feel inside because of what you're experiencing on your outside that is exactly how programming tv programming works and a really big one that seems so simple but it's not because it's going to make your skin crawl if you're not used to it get used to being alone get used to really being alone because at first it's really uncomfortable and you're going to want to run and you want to go to whoever is the closest nearest you're going to want to grab your phone you're going to want to talk to somebody it's very uncomfortable at first but what you'll notice is slowly you're going to start to feel like you're your own best friend you're going to and i've said this in in prior videos but you're going to start to notice that you're going to be that person for you but you'll also realize who you are here's an example I was, I've been spending a lot of time alone because this is what my spirit team has been wanting for me. And I heard myself laugh at a comedy show that I was watching because again, I'm very mindful about what I watch. And I was laughing really hard. And I was shocked by that because I just realized 
that I don't remember the last time I heard myself genuinely laugh, like pure joy laugh. Because again, we are so consumed in this chaos, destructive world, we're not focusing on ourselves anymore. We're worried about what tomorrow brings and what I'm, I'm trying not to hit trigger words here, but you know, the world that is in control of us that we don't have control over unless we V-O-T-E. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? In that moment, I realized that I was capable of filling my own cup. I was capable of being my own support. I was capable of being my own happiness. It was so such a little thing, but it was so shocking because I wasn't used to that. And the people that I used to hang out with before I realized who I was weren't really accepting of me and so I was more of the quiet type and I really was like the friend that people went to for advice but they didn't really check in on me so I didn't know how to care about my own feelings and so when I heard myself laugh not only did I like had an epiphany moment where I was like oh my god I really am my own, my own best friend I really can learn to love myself this is how we are supposed to be we're supposed to start with us first and it felt really good but i also got a little bit of shadow work in i got a little bit of inner child healing in because then i was like i'm not used to laughing this loud i'm not used to this tone of my voice because i've never heard myself laugh this hard because a lot of times when we are in groups we die down who we are right and so in order to figure out who you truly are, you have to be alone with yourself so that there are no voices, no outside sources telling, who, telling you who you're supposed to be. Because that's what we've been taught our entire lives, who we are supposed to be, not who we actually are. If you really want to find yourself and feel okay in the middle of this chaos because as i've been saying and as all the psychics have been saying since the beginning of 2020 this is not over the chaos is still going to continue the world has to go like i'm, I'm wow that that's a really weird visual but i'm seeing like yeah that makes sense because there was a structure that just broke that was yeah anyway um, it's like the world is breaking apart so that a new world can be formed. So in order for us to figure out who we are, we have to break down just like Mother Gaia is doing right now, just like our systems are doing right now. We need to crumble too so that we can find ourselves. We can come home to ourselves. So what is it that you like doing? What is it that you enjoy that lights you up inside? Not TV, not running away, not escapism, not alcohol, not drugs, not weed, not none of that. Who are you? Ask yourself that question. And if you need to write it out, I, you know, I'm very pro journaling, then write it out. But figure out who you are because right now is the time. You have the time and you waste it on TV and same, same. Trust me, Taurus Rising, are you kidding me? I'm addicted to TV. I'm addicted to food. I get it. But when you want to come back home to yourself, this is when it's going to be uncomfortable at first because you're not used to doing that. So you have to get used to the silence. Spirit wanted me to mention um, phone detox. So like spending a good week of not being on your phone, like Facebook, stuff like that, where you compare yourself to other people and then you wonder what you're doing wrong, etc. If you can pull yourself away from your phone for a week and actually be with yourself, then you can figure out what it is that you truly enjoy. And maybe that's reading books. Maybe that's coloring. Maybe that's painting. Maybe you're a creative in a different field. And a lot of times we think that like, especially in today's society, that we need to use all of our creativity as a means of creating a job, right? Because now we're trying to move into that life where we're entrepreneurs, where we're trying to build something for ourselves. But you can also enjoy things for fun too. Like I have, I'm on Star Maker, which is a singing app. And there are probably a lot of people on there that are on there to be stars. But for me, it's an outlet. For me, it's something I enjoy doing. So figure out what it is that you actually enjoy doing and get comfortable with your inner child because they are trying to talk to you. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, if you're ready to figure out who you are, what you want out of life, if you just need a break, you know, then this is something that I highly recommend. Come back home to yourself. Get rid of all of the noise, the people, the things. Get rid of all of it and come home to yourself. It's going to be uncomfortable at first, but you are going to reach a breaking point in a good way <laughs> where you're going to be like, oh my God, 
I love me. Oh my God, I realize who I am now. Oh my God, I have found new things that I like to do for fun. Now I'm not wasting time. Now I'm feeling more mindful about my choices. Now I'm actually feeling joy in my day-to-day -day life because that's the goal, right? We are conditioned to believe that in order to have joy and happiness in our life, we have to work until we're, I think it's 70 where I live. And then maybe if you live that long, then you'll get to retire and enjoy your life. And that's what we aim for. And that's disgusting. You can be happy today. You can be happy now, but you have to slow down. You have to stop consuming. You have to stop escaping and you have to come home to yourself and think about what it is that you liked as a child or maybe just think about things that you like about other people that might be something that's telling you something, you know, like maybe you see somebody that you follow on TikTok that's really good at playing the drums and you're like, God, I really wish I just freaking like that looks like fun. Pick up a drum set, you know, get it on, on Craigslist so it's cheaper so you don't have to pay. You know what I'm saying? There are ways to find happiness and joy. We are just so used to being miserable and consuming and going around. Like I'm seeing literally a hamster wheel just around and around and around. We're so used to it that everything else feels foreign. And so we don't try it because we think, oh, that's not going to work. It's too wonky. It's too hippie. It's too this. It's too that. Stop making excuses and go inwards. Of course, it's going to become uncomfortable at first. You're not used to it yet. And things are going to come up that you need to heal and clear. But once you do that, you're going to feel like an exhale. You're going to feel that, oh, now I can finally breathe. Now I know who I am. Now I can start to build. Now I can stop running from things that weren't even that serious to begin with. Because a lot of times, we amplify the things that we are afraid of in our mind, the things that are overwhelming to us. I, I was a victim of that too. When, you know, the panorama started, I binged a lot of TV so that I was educated and informed. And all it did was cause me severe anxiety. It's time to step away from what we know to be useful when we get out of work, our television and escapism on our phone and start figuring out who we would be if money wasn't a problem if society wasn't a problem if people weren't a problem figure out who you are because once you can do that you can finally truly feel joy on a day-to-day -day basis instead of consistently chasing it I'm gonna wrap this up here I hope this made sense if you like this video please share comment like subscribe if there's anything you guys need help with as well feel free to leave it in the comments otherwise I love you guys so much you can do this be the change you wish to see. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to feel joy. And it's up to you to make that choice. And I believe in you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.